Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam and in this 74th video of PTC Creo Parametric. And in this particular video, we are focusing on Trim Tool and it is available in Model tab and in Editing Group. The Trim Tool in Creo is mainly used to trim surfaces or you can say quilt using cutting reference. It is a crucial feature for working with complex geometry and surface modeling. So let's say, you know, you are trying to use this trim tool to, let's say, trim solid part or surface, then I'm afraid that you may able to do that because it is not applicable for such case. So I'm going to create one such scenario. So here you can see I already have created a solid geometry or feature and then here uh, let me make it symmetric and let's select surface and if I try to trim it I may able to select uh, the trimming quilt which is let's say this one but when I select the trimming object no there is no chance so this is one of drawback I'm gonna say but again there is a fix that we're gonna see I mean after trimming the surface you can solidify it so that's the thing that one can do so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to edit definition and the same object I'm gonna make it surface and then here if I go to option I'm gonna select capped ends okay and now let's select okay now let's try again this trim tool I mean these both tools are applicable for solid geometry but trim is more of surface command now uh, let's me select this okay trim now I'm gonna say the trimmed quilt which is probably this one and trimming object will be this one and now it is asking which direction I would like to keep it so um, here in this way you can see the preview of the direction that you would like to keep and now I'm gonna click OK and there we go so here we can see we have successfully trimmed this and now uh, probably what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna also delete this extra flange okay and I will also say that i'm gonna delete this silhouette as well and here we go here we can see we have successfully trimmed this but at the same time um i can also see that trimming objects still exist so what we can do here is we can go back here in edit definition and in option and we need to uncheck this keep trimming quilt now let's click ok and this time now you can see our trimming quilt is gone now based on your requirement you can you know do whatever you want for example if you would like to thicken it you can add thickness to it and then can uh, solidify or can convert the surface to the solid part and there are so many other things that we can do and in this way we also saw the utilization of this particular command or tool which is thicken and not only we can thicken it but let's say um, you would like to solidify it so you can also do that okay so I have selected this uh, side and then now let's try to solidify it as well so here you can see I have selected this but here we can see that it is not getting solidified properly and the reason behind that is it is not completely locked or filled so uh, what we can do here is I'm gonna go and click on fill and then let me actually select this so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna fill it and in order to fill i probably need to create sketch here so let me uh, see if uh, if i copy and paste these edges will it work or not okay so i have created this surface and let me now click on fill and it seems like it is not working so let me try boundary blend for this so let me delete this because this is not working um, what can I do probably here is maybe I'm gonna take three points and then I'm gonna create a datum here and now let me click on fill and let's select this datum and uh, probably I think I should rotate this so again I'm gonna click on sketch setup and then flip now I'm gonna simply use this project and now let's click OK again OK 
Now let me uh, select the both surfaces and click on merge. So by doing merge, it's going to merge both these surfaces together and that we can see it. And now I'm gonna click on solidify. So let's solidify it and there we go. Here we have solidified this surface and this one is completely filled that we can also verify using or creating a section view that we can also check by utilizing the section view. So in this way guys, we have learned and go through some of surface specific commands, for example, trim, merge, solidify and thicken. And that's also wrap up this video. I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If you have got any doubts or questions, please do let me know and comment down below. And I will definitely try to respond to you as soon as possible. And if you want to follow the entire series on PTC Creo Parametric, then be sure to subscribe to Engineering Pritham. And I will catch you soon with one session in the video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.